Paradoxically, the new Accords cabin is both a return to the simplicity that was once a Honda hallmark and a leap forward in sophistication. A pleasingly minimalist instrument panel greets the driver with clearly marked speedometer and tachometer gauges. In fact, the two instruments are so crisp and similar that it takes a minute to figure out that the tach, on the left, is actually a high-resolution digital display that can show trip computer phone, navigation, and audio information in addition to its tachometer mimicry. Strangely, we couldn't figure out how to call up any sort of digital speedometer, except on touring models equipped with a head-up display. View 113 photos. Material selection and build quality are top-notch, with nicely grained plastics, soft leather, and even convincing faux wood trim, just don't touch as there's no texture to match the open pore appearance. The three climate control dials that adjust temperature and fan speed remind us of Audi knobs, both in their design and in the way they satisfyingly click through their motions. The front seats are well padded and enveloping, while rear seat legroom is positively palatial, having benefited from the wheelbase stretch. Stowage space is generous too, with a deep center console, nicely sized cup holders, and a large bin at the base of the center stack with a USB port and a 12-volt outlet. We can finally applaud Honda for admitting its mistakes with its infotainment interface. After switching many models over to a frustrating, nearly button-free touchscreen a few years ago, the company has gradually corrected itself, culminating in the new Accord's easy-to-use and attractive touchscreen. It combines the volume knob first seen on the new CRV with the redesigned software first implemented on the new Odyssey, while taking the extra step of adding a tuning knob and eight hard buttons flanking the standard 7.0-inch optional 8.0-inch screen. Although it takes some time to learn the ins and outs of the configurable menu structure, the basic functionality is good, and simple tasks like changing the radio station can be achieved without much distraction from the road. Plus, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto come standard on all but the basic or Dell X, if you'd prefer to avoid interacting with Honda's system as much as possible. Generously equipped. If you do end up drawing your eyes away from the road for too long, there are numerous active safety features to help save your bacon. The Honda Sensing Package, composed of key systems such as adaptive cruise control, forward collision warning, and lane keeping assist, is now standard on every Accord. Yes, that even includes manual transmission cars, which must forego only the low speed follow functionality of the adaptive cruise control compared with their automatic equipped brethren. View 113 photos. Other standard features on the base LX include dual zone automatic climate control, push button start, a backup camera, and LED headlights and taillights. Moving up the familiar trim level hierarchy allows buyers to add things such as a power driver's seat, standard on the sport, a sunroof, heated front seats, and blind spot monitoring, standard on X, leather upholstery, standard on XL, and ventilated front seats, rain sensing wipers, heated rear seats, and the aforementioned adaptive dampers, included on touring. The only notable feature missing on the new Accord is automatic stop, start capability, although that emission doesn't seem to hurt its EPA fuel economy estimates much with the 1.5T delivering up to 38 miles per gallon highway, 30 miles per gallon city, and 33 miles per gallon combined, 2.0T numbers aren't available yet. That said, the Honda trails the 2018 Toyota Camry, as the EPA estimates its four-cylinder at up to 41 miles per gallon highway. Even with its long-time arch rival at the top of its game, though, Honda appears to have hit yet another home run. Like nearly all the Accords that came before it, the newest example remains a beautifully engineered, high-quality, and affordable automobile. Prices start at $24,445 and run all the way up to $36,675. Only now it's even more alluring to look at, 
to drive, and to sit inside. We can't say what the future will bring for midsize sedans, but for now the Honda Accord continues to lead the charge. Babylon's came 